Hi y'all, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to talk about something that's not super exciting, but it's really important. We actually got an Instagram message from a user that specifically sought us out to ask a question about copyright. Uh, she says she really wanted to post on Wattpad, had some things that she's written and really wants to share them, but she was really afraid that someone was going to steal her story. And so I went off into this long explanation of why you shouldn't really worry about that. And then I thought, I bet a lot of people have that question. I know before I posted trust, I did. I was like, oh my gosh, what if I put this out there and someone takes it? And so we thought, why don't we kind of clear the air on the copyright Wattpad situation? So what is copyright infringement? Copyright infringement is when somebody basically takes your story and copies it, uses it, without your permission, word for word. It is not stealing an idea. You can't really copyright an idea. The lawsuit would be really weird. It would take forever. There's tons of loopholes in it. Your words are in a specific sync of events is what's copyrighted. So we're gonna go through that today and, and talk a little bit about that and what you could do to protect yourself. So hang on for the end of the video so you learn that as well. The better question to ask is, where can't people steal your story? Yeah. Traditionally published novels are pirated all the time. Even like on TikTok, there was like this thing a while back where people were telling how to take people's stories for free. It's one of those victimless crimes that's still a crime and it's not victimless because the people who worked really hard on that stuff deserve the credit for it. And this isn't something that's new with just Wattpad. I think I've talked about it before in an old video that when I was younger, I was notorious for, out of all things, pirating books. Uh, and at that time, there was no Wattpad and Kindle was kind of becoming a new thing. And even then you were able to go online and find PDFs of a book and read them. So this is not new by any means. And Wattpad has not like opened the door for it to happen more than what it was already happening. And here's the other thing. You can't copy and paste from Wattpad. You can't even go on your own Wattpad when you're logged in and copy and paste from the story. You have to go into the edit, the edit side. So that can't happen. So if someone wanted to steal your story, they would literally have to take it and type it word for word. I'm sorry, but nobody's going to do that. Okay, maybe like one person out of a million might do that. It's not a problem. It's not an issue that you need to worry about. It's not impossible, but it is very highly improbable. What about mirroring sites? It's happened, I would say, in the past year quite a few times on Wattpad where we've had issues where people come in and they mirror the site. Well, there's not much you could do about that because one, you're still getting credit for the story. What we have chosen to do with our stories is at the very beginning, there's a disclaimer that reads, if you're reading this story anywhere other than Wattpad, then you need to like abandon ship. This site could have malware and go and read it on Wattpad mm -hmm. for free. The only problem you might run into is if you happen to be in the paid stories program with Wattpad, then we have a problem because you're losing money. Um, however, if that were the case, Wattpad has recourse that they can help. Um, and all they have to do is file a DCMA report and it can get taken down. So even that, you can get help if that happens to you and you're in the paid stories program. What if I wanted to officially put it in writing somewhere, like on an official website, that this book is mine? You can do that. It's $45 in the United States to electronically submit your book to the Copyright Office. However, that's not necessary. As soon as you put your own words down in writing, they are copyrighted, period. Um, whenever you put them on Wattpad, they're yours. If someone takes them, there's action for that. You do not have to have it officially submitted. Now, if you were to begin publishing to make money, then of course, there are things that you have to do for that. But if you're just wanting to put your stuff on Wattpad for people to read for free, that is unnecessary and a little bit over the top. Yeah. How do you protect your book? 
really easy. Make sure that you don't just put it up on Wattpad. We talked about this in a previous video just a couple weeks ago that you want to make sure that you have it backed up somewhere. So the original manuscript, make sure you have it in a Word document, saved on a cloud, somewhere really safe. So if you had to go and prove that the story is yours, you'll have something that's dated uh, with, you know, the little stamps from Word or whatnot that can state that you wrote this story however long ago. The next thing you could do is really simple is when you are choosing on Wattpad how you are going to copyright your story because there's actually a little selection for that. No, no public domains. That means anybody could use it at any time. There's a couple other um, options in there that are creative. Yeah, we suggest that you just plain and simply keep it all rights reserved. That means they have to come to you and ask for permission to do anything with your story or they will mm -hmm. be in in mm -hmm. trouble for copyright infringement. And Wattpad will take care of that. If somebody were to post your story, even if you're not a paid story, you could submit a help ticket and with the support help and they will take care of that immediately and pull down that other story. Lastly, and most importantly, neither one of us have ever had anything stolen from our Wattpad and we've both been on the site for several years. We have shown up on the mirroring sites, but again, they were giving us credit. So it wasn't copyright infringement at all. Uh, it's a little bit annoying to see it on some janky website, but my name was still on it. Uh, so we've never had any issues with that at all. So chances are you won't either. So bottom line, post on Wattpad. It's going to be safe for all intents and purposes. Your story is safe. The only reason you might not want to do it is because you don't want to share it with millions of readers all around the world. So if you <laughs> want to share it with all these people, feel free to post, feel safe. It is a safe place to put your story. And if you want to read our stories that no one has ever stolen, go to our Wattpad at Crystal and Felicity. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a Friday upload. And as always, write what you love.